Andrew Whitmarsh and I'm the curator of the D-Day story which you can see behind me uh, here in Portsmouth and the museum has been in existence in 19, since 1984 and in 2018 we underwent a major redevelopment um, and we were shortlisted for the European Museum of the Year as a result. D-Day story is here in Portsmouth because this whole area played such a big part uh, in the preparations for D-Day and in launching D-Day. Uh, not just Portsmouth, but the whole surrounding area as well. So within Portsmouth, as well as our museum, um, there's some traces locally, for example, places where the Mulberry Harbours were built, there's some camps where the troops were based before they embarked to go over to Normandy and others, um, other, other military museums and other attractions to see as well. Where we are on the seafront in Portsmouth was, looked very different in May 1944, just before D-Day. The whole seafront was all cordoned off to civilians um, because of the various D-Day related activities happening here, uh, including just along the seafront from us that way, uh, South Parade Pier, which was used for embarking troops. Um, there were other places locally, for example in Gospel, which is just the other side of Portsmouth Harbour, uh, just to the west, that was used for uh, lots of trooper embarkation as well. Visiting the D-Day store in Portsmouth gives you a great overview of D-Day, of the whole Normandy campaign. Um, both the preparations that would have happened before D-Day uh, and, and also what happened on D-Day and afterwards. So inside the museum there's extensive displays with uh, historic artefacts, films, interactives, a whole range of different uh, uh, part, um, means of interpretation to help visitors understand uh, what, uh, the whole subject. And then of course what you can see behind me, LCT 7074, a real landing craft tank that took part in the operation that was there on D-Day and now um, is part of the displays at our museum um, so visitors can come and see it and actually understand and walk around the whole landing craft, understand what it was like being part of the crews of these landing craft at all, being transported over to Normandy in one of these landing craft in 1944. The story of D-Day and the Normandy campaign definitely involves both sides of the English Channel so it's, I think it's really good to start on the English side, the British side uh, and the D-Day story in Portsmouth is an excellent start to that, to your visit. Then travel over to Normandy uh, and experience um, everything that there is to see there. Or indeed, of course, if you're in, in, in the, on the continent, uh, come back across the channel and, and come and learn more about uh, what happened before D-Day happened uh, on the British side.